We are Robin and Kathy, and these are our adventures in our Avan Applause 500 camper van, Serenity. Good afternoon viewer and welcome to our channel. Uh, we're continuing our beaches of the central coast today but a little bit differently because we're actually heading out to the entrance and we'll be staying at Dunleith Caravan Park for a couple of nights. So I'll be able to give you not only a look at the beach at the entrance and the waterways there but also we can see what the caravan park's all about. So we'll be there immediately and here we are all set up, awnings up and we have been upgraded to a waterfront site. So that is pretty good. That's our view. So I think we'll be seeing a fair bit more of that over the next day or so. Very impressive. Ah. So we're settled in. What are your thoughts of the place, Catherine? Well, we haven't had a look around yet. At first, thoughts it's not as big as I thought it was going to be but um, we'll have a wander around and determine that. We've both been out and checked out the amenities block and it's lovely. Yeah. Nice yeah. and clean. So yeah I think we're going to have a lovely couple of days here. The weather's possibly not going to be in our favour. It's tipped to rain all night so we'll just have to see what happens there. Well we'll get wet. I think we're going to go to the beach after a cuppa so we'll see you there. Off for a bit of a walk. The entrance is named because it is actually the entrance to the ocean of Tuggera and Budgiewoy Lakes, which are two fairly large bodies of water. We'll walk around um, to where it is. You can see that beach in the distance. Well, that's where the channel that goes out to the sea is and um, gives it the name of the entrance. So we're at the north entrance now and you can see that sandbar goes out and on the other side of it, the water continues and that's where it goes out to sea. It's not always open to the sea, so we shall see if it is indeed open when we get around there. This is North Entrance Beach. It's a big one. Over to the left down here, it actually goes all the way around to Soldiers Beach, where we were on our previous video. You won't be able to pick it out on the GoPro, but Norahead Lighthouse is over there in the distance. So it's a big, long beach. We do have plans one day to walk the length of it, just not today. Well, after traversing a uh, considerable amount of beach, here we are at the entrance. And you can see it's where the lakes meet the ocean and they run out to sea. It's low tide at the moment and you can see how quickly the water flows. Uh, it can be quite treacherous, especially at high tide, uh, for swimmers caught in this and can be taken out to see. So you have got to be careful if you're swimming around this particular area. Good spot for fishing. The entrance was discovered in 1796 by Colonel David Collins who came in on the first fleet while searching for an escaped convict woman, Mary Morgan. And after a fairly long trek across the beach, we're back. And I think it's getting very close to wine o'clock. Well, it's wine o'clock, as you can see. Um, we've settled in nicely at the entrance gonna have dinner and I think um, we'll probably have a fairly early night 
walk on the beach, took it out of us. So I'm going to leave it there and we'll catch you in the morning to hopefully fly the drone and take a few pictures of, a few pictures of some of the local wildlife. See you in a bit. Good morning viewer, welcome to day two on the beautiful entrance and uh, I don't know if you can see it or not but it's raining quite heavily at the moment. Um, quite cool with it too. Not exactly sure what our plans for today are going to be given the weather. We're hoping to catch up with a few friends and go into the entrance itself so that should be interesting and we'll let you know how all that goes as it happens. Hi, it's a little bit later in the morning now, the weather's cleared up, still a bit cool and a bit breezy, but um, we're going to make a start of our day and uh, head off into the entrance itself and see what it has to offer. And we're going to meet up with a couple of friends there too. We crossed over the entrance bridge and met up with our friends at a coffee shop. <laughs> Cook made friends with Barchi. And this is a view of our campsite from across the other side of the lake. We went for a walk then onto the southern end of the entrance beach. In the distance you can see the entrance pool. The entrance beach is a patrolled beach but as always swim between the flags. Well, after a very nice morning out with friends, time for lunch, and I'm drawing on my English heritage and having chip butty. And after our not so healthy lunch, we're settling in for a quiet afternoon's read. We've recovered from our siesta, and now we're off on a walk to go over to the bridge that connects the two sides of the entrance and take a few pictures. We'll see you there. Making our way back now, under extreme weather conditions, it started raining. No fun at all. And we've made it back to the safety of the caravan park. And it has also stopped raining. We've got some of these in our garden, but they're not that big. I hope they don't grow that big. <laughs> They'll be in the lounge room. On returning to the caravan park, we discovered this amazing museum. It contains an excellent collection of historical photographs, shells from the area and coral. The entrance was an isolated settlement reached mainly by ferry from Wyong. In 1934, a single lane wooden bridge connected the two sides of the entrance, and this lasted until 1968 when the current bridge was opened. Here are a couple of pictures of the ferries that serviced uh, the entrance from Wyong back in the day.
So it's the evening now, and Cook, what have we got for dinner? Um, tonight we've got a vegetable mornay pie and a satay vegetable pie, half each, and some sweet potato and coconut soup. Well, that sounds delicious. Very We easy. bought the pies locally, didn't we? We certainly did. Very busy pie shop. Yes, indeed. Thanks, yeah. Cook. You're welcome. and welcome to day three. It's pretty much pack up time and we're heading home this morning. Uh, we've really enjoyed our time at the entrance, looking at the entrance beach and the Dunleith Caravan Park. Uh, it's a small caravan park, but it's beautifully located right on the banks of the lake. Um, it really fills up over Easter, which starts tomorrow, and um, over Christmas and the summer holidays. Great location, nice little caravan park, big thumbs up. Um, Keep watching and uh, catch our next Beaches of the Central Coast. See you later.